Sometimes when I'm live coding in R, people will ask me questions, not about the concept that I'm hoping to demonstrate, but about how I do some little thing in R. One of those things is how I show the chunk output of a Quarto document in my console. Let me show you how this works. I'm working now in RStudio. You can see that I have a very simple Quarto document. First thing I'm gonna do is just load some packages. Then I'm gonna go down to my first code chunk. Here, I'm taking the penguins data frame, which comes from Palmer penguins, and I'm just counting the number of penguins on each island. When I run this, you can see by default, it will actually put my output below my code chunk. Now, this is a little bit annoying because I have to scroll down to see it, and then if I wanted to make any changes, I'd have to scroll back up. The way that I deal with this is I go to the settings here, and you can see that by default, chunk output will be inline, but instead, I'm gonna switch to chunk output in console. When I do that, RStudio will ask, do you want to clear all the existing chunk output from your notebook? I'll say, yes, let's remove it. You can see that that output is now gone. Now, if I run this code chunk again, you can see that my output is down below in my console. Switching your chunk output to show up in your console will also impact where your plots will show up. So here, for example, in my third code chunk, you can see that I've got code to make a plot. I'll run this. By default, it's just going to show up below that code chunk. But if I switch this to code chunk output in console, I'll go ahead and remove that output. And now when I run this, it will show up in my viewer pane. And I find that a lot easier to be able to see my previews there and have my code on the left side. That's it for today. Hope you learned something useful. If you want to get tips like this in your email, sign up at rfortherestofus.com newsletter.